Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're not going to be taking a look at loadouts. This is actually going to be a guide of how you can play 4-3 stretched in Counter-Strike 2 as well as create a custom resolution. Now I am primarily doing this for NVIDIA but I will have a section below that tries to cover AMD as well. I did this over a year ago when it was still in CSGO and you guys found it incredibly useful so I'm hoping it'll be the same today and I will try to do it very quickly, but show the steps as much as possible. Just before we dive into it, I do want to let you know that we are running the giveaway on this video. Even though it's not a loadout, we're still doing a giveaway. It's for an m 41 s Let It Glass. It's going to be minimal wear. All you have to do is hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment down below of which resolution you're playing in Counter-Strike 2 and why, and let's get into it. Giveaways like this are possible thanks to today's sponsor, Skinport. Skinport is the best place to buy and sell your Counter-Strike skins with a fast, smooth, easy, and secure experience for both buyers and sellers. It's also considerably cheaper compared to buying on the Steam market. Take this AK-47 Vulcan, for example, which is 23% cheaper on Skinport. Damn good deal. Whether you're looking to cash out your CS2 inventory or you're looking for new skins, Skinport will have everything you need. With no buying fees, a great trust pilot rating, and over 1 million skins available at any time, why wouldn't you buy your CS skins on Skinport? Make sure you check the links below, and thanks to Skinport for sponsoring today's video. Right, before we dive into the NVIDIA settings, I just want to showcase how you change your resolution in Counter-Strike, in case you're not aware, I know most will be. You want to come to the settings at the top left-hand corner, and in the very first menu, Video, Video, you're going to see Aspect Ratio here. All you want to do is left click onto this and you want to hit normal 4.3 and it's going to give you a mix of resolutions. One in particular is a custom res that you wouldn't see which is this 1440 by 1080. So 1280 by 960 is the most popular and then you just hit apply changes. Now it looks very scuffed on my OBS but right now I've got a little square screen. It's not even going to the top of the screen or the side of the screen. It gives you an example of how big it is on my aspect ratio here after I've made this change. So what you want to do is come out to your desktop like this. Now, if you're on Windows 10, when you right click, uh, NVIDIA control panel should show up. If you're on Windows 11, you have to go to show more options and then you'll find NVIDIA control panel. So you want to click into that and let it load. Now, it's probably going to load you right into the top page on the 3D settings. What you want to do is you want to come down to display. Now, one thing, first of all, make sure, just as a note, you've selected the right one and have this on the highest refresh rate, refresh rate that your monitor can do. Just make sure you've done that. To change the 4.3, you want to come down to adjust desktop size and position. Now, it may be on aspect ratio, it may be on no scaling. The thing you want to make sure you do is make sure you click onto full screen, then hit apply. Also, make sure you've selected the correct monitor if you've got more than one. And then hit apply for this. My screen jumped around a little bit. We're going to say yes, we want to keep these changes. Lovely stuff. Now, when you come back into CS, after doing this, it will probably still look like this. And it's because you have to restart your game after making the relevant changes. And then when the game reloads again, you should see it like this. And that's you done and dusted, at least from an NVIDIA standpoint. Now, that's what I use, and I think that's what most people I know use. But if you are an AMD and you want to know how to play stretch resolution, I will have a link down below for it, but I will sort of read through and bring bullet points up on screen now for you. The first thing you need to do is make sure you access the AMD Radeon software. Then from there, you want to select the display tab that's within the create menu. Then you want to find the scaling mode option and set it to full panel. Then you go to custom resolutions, read and accept the EULA, whatever that is. And then you can create your custom resolution if you want that as well. Once the new resolutions are created, make sure you enable the GPU scaling and then you can select that custom resolution in CS2. As I say, if you're on AMD, I'll have the link down below. You can go check that out. It'll be a full guide. Laptop, GPU, however, I don't know, man. Uh, good luck, have fun. I don't know anything about that. But now, if you are on NVIDIA and you want a custom resolution, for example, as I've mentioned already, I have the 1440x1080p in here, which I think is the best 4.3 resolution if you're not committing to changing to 16x9. And if you wanted that, you have to go back into the NVIDIA control panel. So once again, you right click, you go into show more options, you go NVIDIA control panel. Now this setting exists under display and under change resolution. And all you have to do here is hit customize. Uh, when you hit customize, you can see here, you can create a custom resolution within this area. You hit create, it brings you into this. So say for example, you wanted to do 1440 by 480. You type in for the horizontal pixels, 1440, uh, 1080 stays the same for vertical lines. You keep all of this as it is. You don't need to change anything. And then you want to do test. And mine is going to say that I've got a duplicate resolution because it already exists in this PC section because I've done it before. But that should get you up and running. Uh, if then you go back into CS and you don't see that resolution there, 
all you have to do is once again restart the game, then come back into the settings menu, and then you should be able to see 1440 by 1080. Which I hope YouTube shows the difference, because there is a huge difference for me between 1280 by 960 and 1440 by 1080. Now, with all of this in mind, I do recommend you guys at least try playing 16 by 9, because I actually really enjoy playing 16 by 9 in CS2. But it is all personal preference at the end of the day. I've tried to keep this short and sweet. There is timestamps down below. Hopefully it's been helpful for you guys. Best of luck for your gaming in Counter-Strike. And hopefully this can help you get up those levels a little bit. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe if you want to see more like this. And we'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.